Now it is time to install the sub-base layer. The sub-base layer must be installed with a slight fall. The sub-base is extremely important as it gives the patio its structural integrity and prevents any sinkage. So we're doing the final preparation for this sub-base for this proposed patio area. Some people ask me, how do we achieve the falls with the patio? For this patio, we're using a one in 84. So what we have is 3.8 meters from A to B. We divide the 80 mil into the 3.8, giving us a 47.5 mil drop from one end to the other end. This fall should be created in the sub base, not the laying course. It's essential to have a fall on your patio. Sitting and standing water is simply not good. To create the fall in the sub base, place a streamline at the finished level at the highest point and run it to a wooden peg at the lower end. Use a streamline spirit level to check its level. At the low end, measure down the streamline 47.5 mil. Place a wooden peg at this level. This now indicates where the sub base material needs to be brought up to. You can do these in various locations to guide you. Pour in the type one aggregate and distribute using a shovel. Measure the depth, making sure you have installed 100 millimeters. Now compact the aggregate using a vibrating plate compactor. When compacting, you will need to do several passes with the plate compactor until a fully compacted sub-base layer has been achieved. For a Tobermore patio or driveway installation, you need to use a sharp, gritty sand. And that sharp, gritty sand needs to be moist enough to form a bore. Spread out the sand with a spade or rake, then compact it with a single pass of the plate compactor. Now we come to the screeding of the sand. This should be done with screeding rails and a screeding bar. This process helps to create a smooth and even surface on which we will lay our flags. Set the screed rails into the sand laying course and use the screeding bar to drag off any excess sand. This creates one smooth and consistent 30 mm sand laying course, which the flags can be laid on. So as you can see, we've got the final bedding course in place. We're using the sharp sand. We've had several passovers. The lads have got the screeding rails in place, so we achieve the correct height. The slab that we are laying, we will ensure that the slab is three to five mil above the edge and restraint for final compaction. So the sand has been sufficiently compacted with a plate compactor. Now we have to remove the screed rails. And what happens when you remove the screed rails, you're actually left with a void. So we need to fill those voids in like so and float off as we come back. 